Hello everybody, my name is Dubisplat and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase Series and this time we are at Ten Pines Bluff. I have my companion Piper with me as I have most recently finished um, Nuka World and I still need to collect a ton of resources for the Nuka World Red Rocket truck stop for the player home that I'm gonna make there. And I've got all of Far Harbor done in terms of settlements. I just need to get, I think, more people to the National Park Visitor Center. But that's for a later time. This is uh, Ten Pines Bluff. So I guess just starting back here at Spawn, um, there's three no there's two I think there's two there's two enemy spawn points one being over here as indicated by the two turrets and then the other one is over in this vicinity and so we'll start here I didn't change anything here I did add the uh, junkyard dog over here on top of this little mound of dirt and we have a residential uh, brotherhood member because you know, whatever uh, when the part when the parade one came in uh, after you kill Kellogg I think this is when he started coming and normally he's just chilling on top of the already existing hut but I don't I don't know I don't know what to make of it. I mean, it's another layer of defense, in my opinion. I really wish he would go away, but he doesn't, so there's that. Okay, over here we've got the farm, which they already have made when you first come to Ten Pines Bluff. I've got a series of windmill generators, because again, I only got the fusion generators whenever I was able to get them with the perks and then I got the bar so I got like a lounging area I got the soda fountain from vault tech workshop uh, and I got the bar so it's a nice little lounge area then you can look out to the overpass look at the overpass and just take a look at the landscape or what's left of it and then you come down here come down here to where this was a completely wrecked building and I fixed it up to the best I could because again I like to use existing buildings so here's the housing and then I've got a barber here as well as the uh, Philopter from Vault Tech Workshop and my population settlement software and if this gentleman would move, which I don't think he is going to... Okay, you're getting to be a pain in the butt. Okay, now he moves as soon as I open the workshop. Then we got a little bit of our marketplace. And again, I'm only providing the things that give happiness, or it kind of depends on which location. So we got a general clinic and a clothing store. And then over here we got a second... I'm sorry, I'm taken by the uh, provisioner. And now the Brahmin just gonna do whatever he wants. Um, standing on his shoulder! Sir, you must be buff working out the gym. Anyway, so I've got another farm, right? and it's all carrots. They take the least amount of room. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a hell of a cellar. <laughs> Dude, you must be ripped as hell underneath that clothes. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, so we've got the carrot farm. Uh, then we got the gym. So I've got uh, three... Three work... I can't think of the right terminology. Weight bench. It seems like there's a better word for it, but I can't think of it. Uh, military press, I guess. And then I've got three pummel horses. 
And I think it should be... Yeah, it's 65 happiness. I don't know why that is. Everybody is pretty much employed. There may be one or two people that are not employed. There's one. Wait, do I not have a scav... No, I have one scavenging station. Huh. In a way, I'm... I'm reading everything wrong. I am sorry. How many scavenging stations do I have? I only have one. Okay. Huh. And where is it? It's over... here. Huh. But, uh, yeah. So then I got more windmill generators. I got the water pump. Yeah, what is it? That... Oh, maybe it's the lack of defense. Oh, that could definitely be it. Yeah, that could definitely be it. I'm actually going to do that now, if I have enough material. Which I barely do. Because ideally you should have... The amount of your water and food... Like, whatever that amount adds up to, it should be what your defense is. And I'm going to put this one over here. So that should be more than enough. And I don't know if it's going to adjust the happiness or not, but... Okay, I don't know why I just I saw the uh, Brotherhood of Steel on top. Um, I'm just thinking I should do a night version, but there's really no exterior lighting, so it wouldn't be all that worth it. So next we will go in this tour showcase. Next we'll go up over yonder to Outpost Zamonja. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to stay in tune with the rest of this settlement tour and future content on my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.